All right, Stella. It's been a while since we've hit. I know. Don't be too hard on uh, well, me. I'll be nice. I'll be a nice <laughs> younger brother. Let's see what you got. All right. Meet the Sampras siblings. One is a 14-time Grand Slam tennis champion. The other, a two-time NCAA title winner as head coach at UCLA. But growing up, they were just Pete and Stella. Every summer, every day, we were playing, either drilling with each other or playing sets against each other. And it got to a point where our sets were getting more competitive. I've only made you cry a couple times, right? <laughs> it was pretty intense at times. I mean, when there were, I'm sure, moments that we argued and, and fought a little bit. I didn't want to lose to a younger brother, and he didn't want to lose to a girl. You were such a cheater. Who I was? Yeah. Well. We had to have mom and dad watch us hit. Well, he thinks he was a lot younger when he started beating me, but I think he was much older. Well, she says I was like 14. Maybe 14, 15 that he started beating me, but he thinks he was probably like 11 or 12. I'm thinking 11, and she says 14. I wanted to open at 19, so I think she was a little bit off on her numbers. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to make sure I'm still better than you. I know, I know, always. Matches with her little brother fueled Stella to a new level of success on the court. She became one of the top players in the state of California and caught the eye of UCLA's then legendary tennis coach, Bill Zima. I remember I was at high school and I saw Bill Zima talking to Stella and that's where she accepted her spot at UCLA. I loved everything about UCLA. You know, we had great teams. We made the final four every year that I was at UCLA. So it was, it was a great time for me. After finishing her UCLA playing career as a four-time All-American in 1991, Stella joined her brother on the Pro Tour. But after a year of traveling, Coach Zima came calling again. This time, he needed a coach. I became a head coach when I was 27, so I was a really young coach. So I kind of learned as I went. She knows the game, she knows the girls, she's been around it for years, and it was just a natural progression for her in her life. You're not getting tired, are you? No, this is easy. How's your team going to be this year? Pretty good. Pretty good? Going to try to make them better. We talked about that sort of being the top dog, you know, because I dealt with it for a few years, and she, you know, tells her players that, you know, last year's last year. So it's reinventing herself, and she knows what it takes. Now in her 20th season at UCLA, Stella continues to blaze her own trail with the occasional visit from her little brother. Ah. Ah, oh, here yes. you go. <laughs> nice playing, Stella. Thank you so much. It's nice to have him around, and I think the girls are very comfortable with him now. I've always tried to help her out with, with maybe talking to a player. I've hit with some of her players, and, um, and it's all good. She's the best college coach in the country, <laughs> Stella. Oh, boy. Proud of her. <laughs> You're crazy. He has supported me, but he's been out on the tour, and he's got his own life. And I've been able to balance my family life with work, which I feel so lucky to be able to do. I've done it on my own.